Okay, when it c- go- comes to um, encoding special characters in QBXML, when wanting to talk via the QB SDK, it can be a little confusing because it, here I'm going to look at the um, the on-screen reference, and you may see this a lot with QBXML. The encoding is UTF-8, like in right here, and that's pretty misleading because they don't take UTF-8 at all, uh, and in in that instance, you would have to do character encoding like in your in your string right here. So you, yeah, you can do UTF-8 like up here in that encoding, sort of a meaningless thing, I guess. And then here you would do sort of regular changing to entities. Like you can see here the the E is has a decimal, excuse me, a decimal encoding there. Here it's a regular HTML entity encoding for the less than sign and so forth. What the QB SDK does accept well is ASCII 7-bit and by encoding like this you are qualified to do the ASCII 7-bit. So now if you're using Ruby specifically so again if you're coming from a different environment not Ruby um, you would just make sure your your nodes are uh, encoded. Uh, using decimal encoding would be the preference because decimal encoding will properly handle things like this and this. Um, these, the, the less than bracket, the greater than bracket can be handled by regular HTML <laughs> entity encoding. I'm tough time saying that fast. So if you did have a string like this for the, let's say, for the customer name, and you use this to send it, this, it will come out in QB like this. So your, your customer name will look like that in QB. Now it will return this as well. So uh, if you do a query for this, it will return this. It's either this or maybe this is decimal encoded as well. But I believe it's exactly the same as this. Now I just baked in this support for proper encoding of these special characters into my gem, the two, two underscore QB XML gem. I also put it into my fork of the QB XML gem. And but let's just say you're in the Ruby environment and you're kind of handling things by yourself. You're not using one of those two gems and uh, you are using Noko Geary. Um, take a look at the code in 2QBXML because it's not as easy as you might think. Like, uh, for example, let's just say you did nil encoding. USA ASCII here and you just did 2XML on your Nokogiri object you're not going to get proper encoding at least Nokogiri is not going to be doing the encoding for you you have to use something like HTML entities again you see I'm having a tough time saying that word HTML and uh, uh, you would have to do it in that fashion so you could still have the header you know UTF-8 and then you could use the HTML entities gem to handle the the en encoding but Nokogiri will do it for you if you do it like this you do 2XML encoding USA ASCII Okay, so it has to be done like that. You can't put it here. It doesn't really honor that. It, what it will do if you do this, it will just put it up here in the instruct tag. It will put the USA ASCII, but it actually doesn't do any encoding for you here. Now, so what's nice is by putting it um, here, 
again here like this that uh, noko giri takes care of it for you so if you're handling this uh, with noko giri or maybe with another um, XML gem um, builder is, could is going to be able to probably do this as well um, but anyway there's a way to do that take a look at the gem code I'm gonna make sure I take that out um, that will properly give you this what I'm doing in this in this um, this spec here is let me just do a puts XML I'm gonna go over to the right side pane here and let me make the screen a little bigger here okay and let me go over to this pane but you see that let me go up here a little bit you see that it properly encoded the um, the characters for you and it's a nice clean fast way to do that and that's built in again to the to the gem the two QB XML gem and I hope you got a lot from this video you can spend a lot of time messing around with the special characters in QB XML so hope, hopefully this helps you whatever environment you're in